How then can grandparents become the fluid bridge between their children and their grandchildren without compromising on their individual identity? Hello and welcome to yet another episode. I am Vishwani Maria Kapoor and I have been practicing as a counseling psychologist working closely with children, parents and families to build a holistic value creating and secure ecosystem for all family members. I am also an inclusion specialist designing and implementing learning environment in schools and homes for children with individualized needs. We often hear so many titles for generations across age groups. Generation X, Generation Y, Generation Z, Bloomers, Millennials, etc. Grandparents, more often than not, end up being the sandwich generation. Their children on one hand and their grandchildren on the other. Grandparents today, therefore, are the prime focus of today's talk. We are an indispensable and integral part of the ecosystem of our family. On one hand, they provide a safe, secure and happy space for their grandchildren. On the other hand, they are a firm pillar of support for their children who, as parents, are striving their hardest to give the best life to their children. How then can grandparents become the fluid bridge between their children and their grandchildren without compromising on their individual identity? The logical first step is a firm sense of pride and self-confidence in their lives as individuals. Individuals who have contributed immensely not only in their roles as grandparents or as parents or any other role in the family unit, but also people who have created immense value throughout their lives in their personal, social and professional spaces. Self-belief and confidence in their own lives will organically reflect in their persona and flow quite naturally into the interactions that they have with their parents, their children and their grandchildren. The second is recognizing that grandparents are not only way stations to fulfill a firm sense of security or a pillar of support for the family. Every family member, whether it is a generation of parents, grandparents and children, they play an equally important role in the ecosystem of creating harmony, peace, unity, freedom and pride in the family environment. Therefore, one must necessarily do anything to avoid power struggles. No one family member or no one role or no one generation is more important than the other. Neither is one always right and the other always wrong. None should be sacrificed for the sake of the other. Whether the virtues that we are talking about are age, experience, maturity, or the virtues that we are talking about are learning, innocence, and a stage of progress. One must necessarily be careful that one family member or one generation should not always be dominating the conversations, the needs, and the decision-making process in the family. These should be fluid roles and should be dependent on the context and not necessarily on the age or the generation or the role that a particular family member is playing. Third is, just as we must avoid power struggles, we must also avoid the need to be always right or wrong. Every family discussion or decision does not need to be bucketed in black or white categories. There are a lot of grey areas where there is opportunity for every generation to express their views. Whether it's the grandparents coming from the viewpoint of age, experience and maturity, whether it is the parents who are coming from a conventional research point of view, 
whether it's the grandchildren who are coming from a point of view of curiosity. Therefore, nobody is right or wrong. There isn't necessarily always a black or a white. Everything is just a point of view where everybody is free to express their point of view from their experiences, their thoughts and their individual value systems. The fourth is for the grandparent generation to continue to have avenues where they create value with the external world. These could be in the form of hobbies, interest groups, social groups, some consulting assignments. If grandparents continue to have a life of meaning, value creation and productivity outside of the family sphere, they will not be overly dependent on any one generation, whether it is their children or grandchildren, to effectively utilize their time and feel a valued part of the socio-economic fabric of either the family or the society. Fifth aspect about ensuring that the grandparent generation does not remain a sandwich generation is incorporating warm heart-to-heart -heart exchanges as an integral fabric of the daily routine of a family. Whether it is greeting each other with a smile when somebody comes back home from a long day at work, whether it is having heart-to-heart -heart conversations during meal times, whether it is going to bed and reading stories together, whatever can promote open-hearted dialogues and warm exchanges should necessarily be part of a family routine which can be incorporated into daily lives. An important part of this routine is not necessarily sharing the high points of your day or of your life, but also sharing your fears, your insecurities, your vulnerabilities. This will bring everybody, whether the grandparent generation, the parent generation or the child generation into a level playing field where everybody is there to embrace each other, support each other and uplift each other. And last, but definitely not the least, every member of the family needs to respect the inherent dignity of life of every other family member irrespective of the gender, role, social status, age, experience, maturity, job titles, wealth, financial status, familial background, any or every aspect of a person is the sum product of their experiences, their value systems and their upbringing. Every family member is equally worthy of respect. When we operate from this standpoint, then every conversation becomes respectful and fosters mutual trust and harmony amongst family members. No one family member, no one role, no one generation or no one gender will be compromised for the sake of the other.